Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadowfrax here once more with your weekly bucket of rust development offal, where I've also got the latest on bikes and news of another new monument coming to rust. And this one might be familiar to some of you. But first, as is tradition after a big patch, there's usually a bit of a clean-up afterwards, and we did have a few things hot-fixed last Friday in an optional server and client update, including fixes to directional sound, i.e. sound everywhere all at once, sounds like a trip to Ikea, moon pools reflecting the sky, not being able to drop items when mounted to vehicles, NPCs leaving doors open on the cargo ship, <laughs> oh, are you born in a barn? the ping estimator causing minor server stalls, the heli not shooting rockets, several areas on the oil rig appearing blocked when using low object quality, and some other misc stuff. If you're interested in keeping track of hotfixes like this, there's a dedicated channel on the Rust Discord. There are some other changes and fixes taking place for the future. First, a fix for shotgun traps going off if an authed player is in front of them when a TC gets reskinned. Ouch! And also for storage adapters not working after a reskin. I don't think either of those are hotfixed yet. It looks like further to the Bradley scientists being added this month, the next thing to come will be heavy Bradley scientists, along with some extra AI tweaks, including chasing. You'll be able to snap and rotate fluid switches and pumps soon, it seems. Hopefully at some point we'll be able to rotate electrical components too. And there's a thing called wire slacking being worked on, which I believe is a poaching of, I mean, implementation like the awesome grid power plugin by Nicodemus I covered a couple of years ago where you can actually add slack to wires to make them hang realistically. Hopefully we'll get the ability to snap wires to angles too eventually. I'm going to keep going on about that until it happens. Some more changes are coming to electrical components. Branch minimum outputs being reduced from 2 to 1. The button press times being reduced from 5 seconds to 1. And power burst is being reduced from 2 to 1 power. There's a new admin command, pipette, which gives you the item you're looking at and places it in your hands. And if you already have it, swaps it with your currently selected item. And two other admin commands, electrical battery dot charge and electrical battery dot deplete, which do pretty much exactly what they sound like. And the map marker for the cargo ships being modified so players can tell if it's already docked. The map marker tooltip will now read a cargo ship docking while it's docked and a cargo ship already docked once it's departed the harbour. In other works in progress, the Nexus system has reared its head in the commits again, but apparently this is still way off and there's nothing to get excited about just yet. There's more progress on reworks to the cliffs too. No date on when that'll be ready. You'll remember, hopefully, that I showed you progress on the bikes that are being worked on currently with a motorbike and one with a sidecar, both looking extremely polished. I'm sure you'll agree. Well, this week, we have yet more footage, but this time of something I've personally been campaigning for for a while, a bicycle. And apparently, according to the commit, a trike too. And if you ask me, this is what Rust should be about, much jankier means of doing everything, and I will watch their progress with interest. Let me know what you think below. There's still work ongoing, of course, the new compound redesign, an SKS skin, and an M939 truck model. But lastly, one thing we seem to always need more of is monuments. After all, there's just so much spare land floating about going to waste, isn't there? Well, imagine my joy at seeing these commits relating to a Radtown Redux with warehouse storage buildings and houses. And yes, Having checked into this, I can confirm that it is indeed a rework of the legacy rad town that I'm sure many of you will remember all too well, and that may trigger the odd episode of PTSD. For those of you who cut their teeth on legacy, this is the one with the road running through it, and hopefully it will be the same situation with the rework, and it'll be as close as possible to the original. I'll try to get pics as soon as I can, but let me know what you think to this blast from the past in the comments, please. That was a short but sweet update this week. Hopefully I'll have a bit more to share with you next week, so stay tuned. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on all the things, including Twitch, my socials, and my Steam group. All the links are below, and you can support the channel here with Patreon, YouTube memberships, and super thanks. I shall catch you all very soon. But in the meantime, team, subject to change. Keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. Oh, are you born in a barn?